you're going to see different types of font you see the roboto you see other types you know but you're going to choose the one we want we're going to choose what we're going to use for a mobile app so um, let's see we are going to use so we're going to use um I'm going to use just look for I'm looking for something that would appeal a good have a good okay source sounds we're going to use the source sounds pro so I think we're going to use this so you choose the one you want to use you when you click on it it takes you to another page so we download it you click on the down the look at the right the down the right can click download so when you click on that it's going to download the font it's gonna download it to your computer. So click on download. After downloading it, we're going to go back to our Android Studio. We go back to the Android Studio, and we're going to create a directory, and we call this directory font. We're gonna call this directory font. So this font directory is where you put all your fonts. So you go to where you downloaded the folder, you're going to copy. You're going to copy the font you want to use. So right here we're going to choose the bold, we're going to copy the bold and we also need the semi bold. We're going to copy the bold, semi bold and the regular. So So those are the three fonts we need. We need the bold, we need the semi-bold font, and we need the regular font. So we copy these three fonts and we're going to put it in the fonts folder. So the fonts folder is going to contain contain all the font so, hmm. the pop spec file we're going to paste it and um, we are going to also declare the font this is where you declare your font so each time you create a font you put it here In the pop spec file you're going to put all your phone you're going to declare them here so if you don't do that the android studio would not recognize your phones So be careful with the spacing you understand because if you give the wrong spacing you're going to try an error so to prevent an error we have to count two spaces two spaces from the left so make sure your your spacing is correct because if it's not correct address to you it's going to throw an error So take note of the spacing I'm keeping. So right here we're going to write the name of the font. We're going to write the name of the font. So the family here, yeah, we're going to write the name of the family, the family of the fonts we are using. So we're using Sans Pro.
so under the asset the assets now you're going to declare the font where it is so right now the font is in the font folder slash you're going to write the font name here so by using the source sans pro bold and we're also going to use the source sans pro regular So that is it that is how to declare font in the pop spec file so we got rid of the other ones because we only have one font family so we only declare one of it so if you have more than one family you can write them down you can declare them down there but we only have one so we're using one alone So now you run the pop gate. Or you can use the terminal down there. You can use the terminal command line and you run the flutter pop gate. So after after you're done, after the pop gate is done, after it, you finish with that, you go back to the splash screen. And right now we want to declare the font, so we do that in the appearance dot dot. But before that, we're going to create another class, and we're calling this class color. So this color class, we're going to use it to um, declare colors for the app. We call it my color class. So my color class is going to help you. Um, create color instances you're going to use them for the splash screen so we're creating a color here i'm calling it the app color so we're going to call it the app color We're using, we're using blue, we're going to choose the blue, ascent blue. So this is going to be the app color. So there's an error here, and the error here is telling us that we cannot use it this way so we have to find another way and we're going to the color class and we're going to copy the color code so now we have the app color So going back to the splash dot that we're going to use the app color here we're going to create the color in the container so to make use of the app color we need to create an instance of the color class or an instance of the custom color class we created my color So we copy my color
So using my color, we are going to get access to the up color now using the class instance. Remember I told you that we can use an instance of the class to access the class members. So now we have the up color. There is an error here. The error is telling us that the color is wrong. There's a mistake there. So I think we should use a small letter instead of a capital letter. So going back to So I'm going to make use of the font family here. I'm going to copy Source Sans Pro and we paste it. So now we have the font family in the appearance dot that we can now use it on a text widget. The font weight. <coughs> The font weight is going to be 300. So the body text one now has a font family of Source Sans Pro with a font weight. So going back to the splash screen now, everything is done, everything is correct now, I'm just checking the code, everything is correct now, so we can, I think we can run the app, we can test it now, so I'm just going through the code to check for errors, I'm just checking if there's any error, or, or if there's something I've not done, so... Everything seems correct, and now we want to run the app. See, so we're running the app now on the mobile device, and we're going to see the splash screen. We're going to see the color and the font family, how it appears. So the app is running, it's compiling the code. No, there's an error here that they said the app color was called unknown. Tried calling app color then. Okay, so the splash screen has an error because um, we did not initialize the 
the class my color we did not initialize the my color class so it did not show the color on the screen but it still took us to the sign up screen so we have to go back and initialize the my color class so if we initialize the class i feel now the error should go away and the app will run well so we initialize the instance of my color class so I feel after this after this I feel the app will run well because previously we did not initialize the class so it gave us an error so now we initialize the class and let me run the app again so now everything should work well So now the app is installing and you're going to see how the splash screen will look like. So it's working, it's coming up. So now it comes up and and that is it so everything works well now and you see how the color shows on the screen and you see the theme and everything so everything now works and that is it for this video so make sure you follow up and if you don't understand you can drop your comment and i would try to explain for you thank you